one, two, three. Okay, so I'm trying to do this thing where I make the merging process easier of syncing the audio and the visual. And you know, it's funny because this is literally the most simple video one person can make. I mean, truthfully, I'm not really editing anything but that. I'm just syncing the two, but I'm special. And that in itself is apparently a lot of work. Anyway, so update on the bee sting. My foot looks horrendous. And before I, you know what? I'm not going to go any further. We don't have to talk about that. That is not what this episode is about. This episode is about gratitude and why it is, quite frankly, the secret to really being okay. And I'm using the word okay instead of happy because happiness is something I still don't quite have figured out yet. But being okay and being content with things, I feel like that's more more manageable, something I can really talk about. And gratitude, honestly, is just one of those things that if you use it, properly and consistently it can really change your mindset about your own life and it can make it easier to remember that no matter how difficult things are right now in this very moment you are still blessed you know when you when you start thinking about every single thing you could be grateful for you realize that the list is actually pretty long so long in fact that eventually if you're like me you get to a point where you start feeling really bad about everything you do take for granted in a given day i mean really bad because it's it's so easy to think about what's wrong about your life and it's so easy to get into this mindset of things could be better and I could have this and why me and it's so it's just so easy and I really wish it wasn't because I can't tell you how many days I've I've used gratitude and it really does make a difference but those days do not outnumber the days that I feel sorry for myself sometimes And I really, really want to commit to making those days of gratitude more frequent than any other type of day, you know? And if you look up online, there are so many, so many websites and so many articles about how if you do these things when you wake up, you know, you'll have a better, a better day. And and usually... One of those things is making a list of all the things you're grateful for. And it's easier to read those things and think, oh yeah, that sounds like a great way to start my day. But when you actually try to do it, you know, for me, it's it's difficult. Because when I wake up, the first thing I think about, aside from I really have to pee or I need to drink water because I'm going to choke on my own saliva or where's the coffee is damn I gotta wake up I have to get on my feet and I have to be a functional human being my first thought isn't I'm alive and thank god for this day that is not my first thought it might be my third my fourth my fifth my sixth sometimes I don't really think like that Sometimes those words do not come to my mind, and that's what I want to change. I want to wake up and say to myself, thank you. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, God, for another day, another opportunity to be better than yesterday, another day to learn and grow and contribute 
good energy to the universe because it needs it. The universe needs good energy. We need to think differently if we want things to be better and if we want things to change. There is so much, so much that needs to happen in the world for us to all reach a point of harmony. I mean, there's there's still so much hate and there's still so much violence and there's still so much bad energy and bad things happening and it's not okay. It was never okay and it'll never be okay, but it's not gonna change unless we all practice gratitude. And gratitude is really just the beginning of of a whole shift because there's a whole shift that needs to happen in the world but it has to start somewhere and i feel like gratitude is the place to start because when we practice gratitude we realize we ourselves have we have the basics to make a difference we really do if you have health, if you have clothes to wear, running water, food to eat, if you, if you have all of those things, then you are already in the right direction to make a difference. And it's tricky because right now in the world, there are a lot of people that are suffering from bad health. And they're, they're suffering from a lack of things, lack of energy, lack of resources, lack of... of um time you know there's so many things that could possibly be happening i don't know all the different situations that can come from something like covid i don't know because thankfully i have never gotten sick like that you know i i know people that have gotten sick and i know very people close to me very very you know what i'm saying but thankfully, I have not gotten the virus, right? And that in itself is a huge, huge blessing. But because I don't know, I can't imagine the domino effect that could possibly come out of getting something like that. And so instead of thinking, well, I have this bee sting, right? I can think... I have a bee sting and my foot looks like it's going through something, but at least I can breathe. I can breathe, I can talk, I can sing, I can do all the things that my lungs allow me to do, and that is a blessing. And I just, I really, really, really want to make this mindset a permanent one because I need it. I really do. It doesn't take much to be grateful. And it makes such a difference. And if you're if you're willing, if you're willing to do this with me, you can you can pause the video right now and get a piece of paper and write down write down it doesn't even have to be that long. Write down five things you're grateful for and I promise you you will feel better afterwards you will see things differently just write down five things that you are grateful for and just watch watch the shift in your mind i'm gonna say five things i'm grateful for and and i already know i already know that i'm gonna feel silly for for not thinking about these things every single day when i wake up i'm grateful for the roof over my head. It is not my roof. It's someone else's roof. And they, they've they allowed me to come into their life. That in itself is a blessing. I am blessed to live where I live with who I live with because they have been nothing but a source of light in my life. And that could be too two gratitudes in one like where i live and the person i live with it's there it's all the same but I'll, I'll 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 count that as one just to keep it keep it you know keep it g um 
too. I'm grateful for the fact that I have access to clean water and food. Again, those could be two separate things, but I'm putting them in one because those are basic necessities that people out there in the world do not have. They don't have clean water and they don't have consistent access to to food and and good food at that. I can go to the grocery store and, and buy healthy things and that's a blessing. Three, I am grateful for my understanding of basic technology. I know how to use a phone. I know how to use a computer. I know how to use this mic that I'm using right now. If I'm ever in a situation where I need to use a device to help my life be easier, I, I can. And it sounds, it sounds, it might sound silly, it might sound simple, but the fact that I know how to use a phone, the fact that I know how to use a computer, the fact that I know how to use all these things, that is a blessing. Because to be quite honest, our lives would be a lot more difficult if we didn't have these things, if we didn't know how to use these things. So I'm grateful for my understanding of them because it does make life easier. Was that three or four? Hmm. Okay. Um, well, this is... How about, how about we just... I don't know if that was three or four, but I'm going to go to four. Well, if if this is a a four part two, then so be it. I am grateful for my friends. My friends are the reason why I feel like I'm still alive. Honestly. Honestly honest to god i am alive because people with good hearts huge hearts exist i would be i would be nothing without the people that have supported me and loved me and been there for me when i could have not done it for myself and i feel like i'm about to tear up but um you know who you are if you're actually watching this then honestly thank you because um it's hard it's hard to to be vulnerable and it's hard to to get people to want to see that you know i understand that this is more of a therapeutic thing for me but if you are watching this and you are close to me thank you thank you thank you because my my life is practically it it's it's a coincidence of your existence and um my friends they they're a big reason why i'm even still trying so i'm grateful for them for sure very 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 grateful very grateful and number number five the big number five um i am grateful for nature and this is this is something that like i feel is you know i'm not even gonna overthink it i'm not gonna overthink it i am grateful for nature because nature it gives life like just straight to the point period it gives life we are able to breathe oxygen because that's what the plants are in charge of plants nature green what's outside that provides us with oxygen and we are able to breathe and stay alive because of that nature is literally life mother nature is the reason why we are still here and when i feel the most grateful honestly is when i'm outside and i'm going on a walk and i i look around me and i realize damn this is beautiful beautiful the the fact that there's there's grass and trees and all these things that we we didn't make humans did not make nature if there's one thing we cannot take credit for it is nature nature made itself nature is out there because it has to be out there because we need it to survive and i'm so grateful for it we are able to do so many things 
so many we are able to live our lives because of nature isn't that amazing like that blows my mind i can't even wrap my head around it the concept that we wouldn't be able to live if it wasn't for nature it's crazy so why wouldn't we do everything that we possibly can within our own self to protect that you know and that's another topic that that's something else we can we can we can go for for hours on on things we can do to to protect what is so important you know but yeah those are my five or six if i didn't count right things that i'm grateful for right now in this very moment that i can think of and and i'm i already feel so i already feel better you know but i don't want this feeling to to be fleeting i don't want it to be temporary i want to feel like this all the time and i just i hope i find i hope i find my 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 strategy my rhythm you know i'm thinking about getting a vision board and putting it somewhere on my wall and then maybe hopefully you know it's something i can i can look at every morning when i wake up and help me get get to that get to that mindset until it becomes natural until i can just do it by myself without having to look at anything that's the that's the ultimate goal really is to just wake up and already have that mindset of i am grateful i am blessed and that that is enough so i think i'm going to end it here for today um if you did do that exercise right so if you were the one two three if you were somebody out there that actually watched this video first of all thank you because you know any support is is top tier um but if you did that exercise and you you actually thought about five things that you were grateful for please leave them down below in the comments because i want to know i want to know what you're grateful for because i'm pretty sure there are some things in there that I too am grateful for and I want to I want to keep in mind all the things that I could possibly be grateful for because again that is the key to being okay. But I hope you're more than okay. I hope you're you're fucking fantastic because you deserve that. And just remember that your existence is important. You are important, your feelings are important. Everything that you've been through is is it matters. You are valid. You are necessary. You are a necessary part of the world and the universe and we need your energy. And I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.